Welcome to Tim Studios. My name is Krish and I'm a technical account manager based out of New Zealand. This is part one of the work automation series. Today, we will be focusing on what, who, why, and how of Genesis Cloud work automation. Let's dive into it. Work automation basically extends Genesis Cloud CX Geni orchestration capabilities into the customer and knowledge worker workflows, aka back office. There are three primary feature categories that will help explain work automation. Extend end-to-end -end Geni orchestration, which connect and automate people and systems for faster resolution, and build and customize workflows with low code to suit your business needs. Single pane of glass for all work, so managing back office work that originate in the contact center and routing and prioritizing all work from one place. End-to-end -end observability and management, accurately distributing work based on employee capabilities and stamping out bottlenecks that affect the process. Genesis Cloud CX work automation integrates siloed application from multiple backend systems so that every customer request is handled within your promised SLAs. It combines the power of workflow automation and agent assistance to provide consistent end-to-end -end experience. Make business decisions in real time with consistent data and single source of truth. You will no longer have to rely on admin manager's best guess or manual tracking to ensure all customer support work is completed on time. There are multiple use cases for work automation. You may structure your setup based on your business needs or requirements. There are six key components for work automation. Administration, which includes work bin, queues, workflows, and architect flows. Ingestion, which includes task creation by APIs and custom attributes. Managing, which includes task lists and detailed view, task controls, and schema builder, analytics, which includes performance matrix, reports, and dashboards, handling, which includes CRM or ticketing integration, and agent copilot and assistance, WEM, which is on the roadmap at the time of recording. Let's take a deep dive in understanding work items. A customer work item or task is any type of request submitted by or on behalf of a customer, regardless of origin or interaction method. This includes requests submitted to various channels like contact center integrations, self-service portals, mobile apps, or social media. Examples of common work items include sales or marketing leads, such as potential customer information submitted for follow-ups, support ticket request for assistance with a product or service, process requests, which includes inquiries about claims, billings, or other administrative processes. Key characteristics of these requests are offline, as they don't require immediate real-time responses, like a live chat interaction. Work items often have defined timeframes for resolution, example, 24 to 48 hours to meet their SLAs. Handling work items can be addressed through various methods, including unattended, such as automated workflow or self-service options to resolve the request, agent-assisted, human agents handling the request directly, or a hybrid method, which is a combination of both. This flow diagram illustrates how work automation works from the point where a work item is created in the system. One, work item created. By leveraging Genesis Cloud APIs, any third-party event generated from a CRM, ERP, ticketing application, or website page triggers an API call that creates a work item in Genesis Cloud. This work item will incorporate mandatory and custom fields that will be used to link the work item with the corresponding workflow. Two, event generated. Once a work item is created in GC, an event is generated and shared internally across all different components. Three, trigger or listener. This service is continuously listening for events for every work item to then trigger an action. An action could be running a self-assisted workflow or executing a routing strategy. Four, workflow. The workflow engine executes the logic of the workflow linked to the created work item. It might include attended or unattended actions like updating a CRM or creating an outbound campaign record. 
As a result of the workflow, the work item status changes or moves to a different stage, and all the process described before is repeated. I'd like to call out some limitations with work item today. These are developer limits with standard deployment. However, these limits can be adjusted to suit your business needs. Please visit our developer forum or resource center for additional information. How does work automation come together? Stay tuned for a configuration demo in our next video. I hope this video was informative. Please comment below or email us on tempstudios at genesis.com. Please stay tuned for more work automation videos as we create them. This is your Tem signing off. Thanks for watching.